So just think about it for a moment. The life that you're living right now will determine your eternal life and where you will go. God said, if you love me, you will follow my commandments. So therefore, you cannot be proclaiming to love God if you're not following his commandments. This is not what I said. This is what God said. God said, if you love me, you will follow my commandments. You guys, this life is only temporary. So that means you will die one day. And after death comes judgment, says the Bible. You will either spend your eternal life, which is more than a billion years, either in heaven or hell. So therefore, you need to be living your earthly life setting you up for your eternal life in heaven and then think about this you you partying okay you smoking you drinking you're having sex outside of marriage you're you're cheating on your husband or wife um you're lying you're stealing some of you may be a murderer who knows um after death comes judgment whether you believe it or not or whether you care or not you will stand before the most high god after you die okay ask yourself was that weed or was that you know popping pills or alcohol or sex or money or cars and houses was that worth your eternal life in hell do you not know that eternal life means everlasting forever more than a thousand more than ten thousand more than a billion years more than a billion plus a billion years like do you not know that eternal is forever and this life on earth is only temporary so ask yourself, your soul is at stake for going to hell for all eternity. No rest. That is total separation from God. And you, it is torment. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, y'all. So remember, what you do now in your earthly, temporary life will determine where you will spend all eternity all eternity that's everlasting that is forever so doesn't it make sense for you to put away your wicked ways and follow the most high god yashua hamashiach which is jesus christ doesn't it make sense for you to stop doing whatever the flesh wants you to do turn from your wicked ways be baptized in the name of yeshua hamashiach jesus christ and give your life to the most high god so that you will have a chance to inherit the kingdom of heaven instead of hell my god my god the most high god gives us gives us so many chances to get our life together he don't want none of us to go to hell. He gives us amazing grace and mercy. Okay? Stop thinking that you have time to get your life together. Stop thinking that you have time to change and turn from your wicked ways and be baptized and live holy. Stop thinking you have time. Okay? Stop letting the devil deceive you and finesse you out of your soul because he, he already gone. Okay? He, he, he already have his final destination. Okay. And he hates you so much that you get a chance to go to a place he can never dwell in again. So please wake up to the deception. Y'all this life is not worth you missing out on heaven and spending forever in hell. Hell is real. When I think about all the times that Jesus gave me, you know what I'm saying? All the times I could have actually lost my life. When I think about all the times I decided to get drunk, you know what I'm saying? Or hit the blunt. And I don't even smoke, but all the times I decided to hit the blunt or involve myself in, in sinful activity. Any of those times, man, I could have lost my life and I could have went straight to hell. 
but God's grace and mercy is just so precious and and we take it lightly as if you know what I'm saying it's old to us nothing is old to us we are so undeserving what we deserve is hell that's what we deserve but by the grace and mercy of God we are still here and while we here we need to be trying to set ourselves up for eternal life in heaven and avoiding hell that is complete separation away from God and when I say complete separation away from God, y'all have to understand your mind cannot even fathom what that feels like. We cannot even fathom that in, in the, you know, the physical world because we have God's presence. We have God's presence around us. It's not until you get to hell and you realize it's not until it's too late when you realize God is not there and God is, God is love. So if you don't have love and you don't have every good feeling in the world, you know, the happiness, the joy, the peace, and you are in hell without God's present, come on, man, I'm talking about torment. It is so much torment, y'all. I promise you it's nothing on this earth worth you going there. God loves you so much. He gives us free will. You get to choose. You get to choose where you will spend all eternity based off the life that you live right now. Be wise. Choose heaven, y'all. Nothing is worth it. Nothing on this earth is worth it. Man, fight your flesh. Resist the devil and he got to flee. Man, get baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and strive to live a holy life. It ain't easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it with no doubt. But you have to be set apart from the world. Strive so that you may have a piece of heaven. Strive to turn from your wicked ways. You got to turn. You got to get baptized. You got to stop. You got to realize that that sin that you addicted to, you know, what your flesh love is not worth your soul. It is not worth your soul being in hell for all eternity it ain't worth it you know what i'm saying that is temporary satisfaction your eternal life is forever everlasting once you get to hell you cannot repent you cannot ask god for another chance he's not there it is over the torture the torture that you will face you will be miserable. You will go insane. And it's nothing you can do about it. It's nothing you can do about it. Okay? It's not worth it. The weed, the car, the money, the drugs, the alcohol. None of it is worth it. The sex, the woman, the man. Nobody is worth it. Nobody is worth your eternal life. Listen, understand that through Jesus Christ, you can do all things. God gives us his Holy Spirit to be our helper to help us to convict us when we're wrong to help us you know what i'm saying use the word of god to be a, a a lamp for your footsteps okay get you some power and authority learn how to fight back against the devil when he try to come at you with all these different temptations okay if you resist him he gotta go no matter how many times he come back keep resisting him he gotta go okay listen repent 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 of your sins be baptized in the name of jesus christ and strive to live a holy life for we have a holy god our god is holy okay he will not stand for your wicked ways like how dare you believe that you can smoke weed pop pills drink drink get drunk and think that you can get to heaven and we have a holy god how dare you believe that your wickedness your homosexuality being a lesbian huh how dare you think that that can inherit the kingdom of heaven if you are believing that you can do what you want to do and not follow the most high god and not keep his commandments and still get to heaven the devil is deceiving you that is a lie Okay, I rebuke Satan in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach out of your life because that is a lie straight from the pits of hell. You cannot do what you want to do and still get to heaven. 
You cannot. We have a holy God. Therefore, we need to be holy. He gave us everything we needed. How dare you believe that you are God? Huh? How dare you believe that sorcery and all that witchcraft and all that foolishness is going to help you? The devil is deceiving you. Okay? All that stuff is wicked. Put away your wicked ways. Okay? Because it ain't worth your eternal soul being in hell for all eternity. Okay? Whatever you think that is right and you don't be so self-righteous. Okay, because a wise man know that he really know nothing at all. Don't be so self-righteous like you can't learn and nobody can't teach you nothing. I'm telling you what the word of God said. Okay, you cannot do what you want to do and still inherit the kingdom of heaven. The devil is deceiving you and will laugh at you in your face when you get to hell. When you realize, oh my God. I could not do what I want to do. If you got you watching this video, if you made it this far in this video, you still got breath in your body. You're still living. You still have a chance, man, to repent to our master, our savior, our king. He's the king of kings, creator of heaven and earth and everything in it. Okay? He is sovereign, almighty, all powerful. You still have a chance to repent. Man, fall on your face and talk to your master. Ask for forgiveness of your sins. And then turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your wicked ways. It ain't worth it. It's not. It's not worth it. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and strive to live a holy life. We fighting against flesh and Satan. But we can do it because our God is almighty. I'm working on my own soul salvation. But I'm going to do what my father want me to do. And that's warn his people. Warn y'all, man. Warn you. I was lost. I was a fool. Okay? And I am far from perfect now. But I put away my wickedness. Okay? I got baptized and I am striving every day to be holy like our father in heaven because i want to go to heaven i want to be pleasing in the eyesight of my heavenly father my creator my redeemer my savior i want to be pleasing in the eyesight of our savior nothing is worth it i promise you nothing is worth it the Most High God loves us. He's everything. He's everything. We are nothing without Him. We are useless beings without Him. The very breath that you're breathing right now, as you inhale and exhale, that's a gift from God. Okay? He loves you. You're still living. You still have a chance. Repent of your sins, man. Turn from your wicked ways. Put them away. Be baptized. Strive to live holy. Keep the Most High God commandments. He said if you love him, you will keep his commandments. Keep them. So that you may inherit the kingdom of heaven. I pray that you guys, you know what I'm saying, take this message and really apply it to your life. Because you don't have forever. Okay? And this life is only temporary. God bless. Peace be to you.